escape from Mars. So, we're currently approaching the tunnel, or currently in the tunnel, approaching the G Corp ground base. And this is my third attempt because I keep lagging and smacking into the ceiling and dying, and the words that come out of my no mouth are not safe for work at all. So, yeah, as we get to about one click out or so, it, uh, yeah, as we actually as we approach that little piece of ground there, it will complain about an enemy. Facility yep, right there. Have picked up a hostile. Yeah, right there, exactly. Nearby patrols for location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Why don't you come down here and crash into the ground? Uh, you know what? You could actually just go play with the Rust Rover because that would be hilar kind of hilarious. Yep. This will open this up a little bit. Hopefully, not killing me in the process. Uh, the only problem with the with the multi-purpose drone is that it's kind of awkward to tell exactly where I am in such in confined spaces like this. That's why the camera is mounted where it is on the um, grinder head. So anyway, the plan is to basically drill up underneath the ground base, which is just over 700 just over, yeah, just over 750 meters ahead, and basically uh, build a chair on the bottom and turn the base off, because that will turn off all the turrets. Now there will still be some um, what's the phrase? The uh, yeah, that's the word. So, oh, some convoy tur some convoy turrets there, but I'm pretty sure the raiding gunship can handle those. All drones attack. Yep, go ahead, come on down here. Go ahead, whack the... whack into the ground, that would be funny. Yep, so now we're starting to get some... And we're still some distance away from the base. If I were so inclined, I could actually go into, uh, my third-person camera, or the spectator camera, that's the one. And have a look through the world, but I don't really feel like... I feel that's kind of cheating, so basically we're going to aim below the ground base and basically drill over to it. Uh, that guy's able to get awful close, so let's tip down a bit. Alright, um, we want to be careful so that we don't smack, knock it, smack the ground and knock anything off. But also, I'm hoping that the turrets will not decide to fire into the ground at us, because that would be embarrassing. Uh, yeah. Basically, we want to be tilted down just enough that we're not um, seeing the ground base on our set as the thing we're looking directly at. Okay, so he's 130 meters up, give or take, depends on how close he decides to get to the ground. Okay, less lag, please. Thank you. So, I do like the, the three-head mining drill. It seems to work work well enough to drill a large enough hole that as long as I'm paying attention, I don't uh, kill myself on it. I killed myself twice on this. Uh, both times, I think, like, there may be some uh, air on the microphone that's from a little fan that should I thought it was pointed somewhere else, but it's apparently not. Okay, we're seeing ground base on our thing, so let's t tilt down a bit. Uh, yeah, we're less than 600 meters away, so... Um, woo, okay. Don't bang that. Uh, yeah, don't, don't break anything, please. Okay, we're tipped too far up again. Well, the turrets are not firing on us, even though the base seems to know that we're here. That's a good sign. And we're well within the range of large ship turrets. What I may do is park about 200 meters away and then drill the last bit by hand. I... Did I bring a drill? Uh, inventory... Yes, I did bring a drill. Excellent. Um, grab control again. And here we go, back into the... Back into our mining. Uh, right, <laughs> using the easier to see the numbers when the vision is clouded. That's kind of hilarious. Um, right, the 
basically I want to take this over and harvest everything it has. Uh, I'll use my multi-purpose drone here and strip out all of its juicy bits and then head out for the hidden the location marked off marked in the hidden file contents and see what's available there. I'm kind of looking, I've been p paging through some of the mods available for Space Engineers, and I'm kind of looking forward to my second attempt at this, which won't be right away, but I, I don't want it to be too fresh in my mind when I do it, but basically, I, I want to do a modded playthrough of this, if you will, and include weapons, and include some stuff that, uh, you know, is not vanilla, but should not be, should not make the game too much easier, but will at the same time, excuse me, increase the options I have for dealing with. <clears throat> One of the things I was looking at is the torpedo mod. Uh, Captain, uh, Captain Shack from XP Gamers has been playing with it in his Sunday streams. And it looks really fun. It sounds really awesome. It, it, he's blown up his own base with it, which is I personally find kind of hilarious. And uh, looks like the sort of thing that you could use to say build a multiple launch rocket system with. Yeah, that could be fun. Especially being able to attack G, a G Corp base with it. Although I've. Uh, Actually, might be using the non-explosive heads, the um, using the, penetr the steel penetrator. That was it. Or, no, ballistic penetrator. That was the name of it, <clears throat> which is all steel plates. Um, and amusingly, costs the, the exact same amount as a the large ship blast door block edge. Um, use that to knock out some of the convoys. Because hopefully, when I play it modded, all the convoys will behave themselves. I had a bit of a look at the convoys here. Um, I attempted to attack one and found that they're kind of sitting uh, just at the end, of the end of the ramp as they leave the ground base. Uh, be, and one of them dug, apparently got stuck enough to dig a hole, and all the rest of them are sort of sitting on top of the previous the previous ones. There was. Last time I looked, one convoy escort that uh, managed to move away and immediately broke its wheels off and it is stuck there, which is kind of which I find kind of funny actually. Convoy escorts don't appear to have the same amount of thruster of thrust power that the actual convoys do, which is kind of interesting. I just I suspect that's done so that if you attack the convoy, that the uh, escort will have a little more precise maneuverability, while the actual convoy will have the acceleration to run away from you. Uh, whether or not the raiding gunship can actually catch up to catch up to a convoy accelerating away from it or not is something I have yet to test. I'm slightly annoyed by the center spread. Of of my grading gunship. Uh, basically it means that the if I have something directly on my Okay, level out a bit, thank you. Directly in my crosshairs, chances are I'll be shooting to either side of it. Um, which is a bit of a bit makes it a bit awkward to actually attack anything. But on the other hand it means that with the twelve guns on it I can Basically, no, it's not 12, it's uh, 16. I'm pretty sure it's 16 guns on it. it. means I can basically shoot anything out of the sky. So, if I can get into get into the, get into into the an attack position, their drones are kind of boned. Uh, yeah. So we're pretty close, and there's uh, a gunship overhead. Now, if I can shut down the gunship... Now, if I can shut down the base, I can actually bring the raiding gunship in and deal with the air gunship, the airborne gunship. Right. Let me try it. I can 
deal with their drones. And hopefully that... Uh, now, what I'm thinking is that as you approach a certain distance of the beacon block, that's what causes the um, ships to ships to be spawned to attack. And so, if I, for example, have shut down the beacon block, then I should be able to fly close with the raiding gunship and punch out. Facility scanners have picked up a hostile. Dispatch nearby patrol to location. No, you think? Oh look, there's two of them, and, not, and they're both attacking, coming after me. What I may be able to do is actually park this and let them be ready to harass this, and then come and come and attack them with the raiding gunship from behind. He's getting a little bit close, thank you very much. So, within 200 some odd meters, I think it's actually time for me to dismount my mighty steed, or close to it. And basically, I will go and drill the rest of the way up, or most of the rest of the way up, and then have you guys join me back in when I actually reach the uh, base. Alright, so let me... Excuse me. How dare you identify me as a target. You are not allowed to do that kind of nonsense. I'm going to very slowly dig myself another hole in which I can actually turn around. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, I seem to be just of the right size where I can properly dig a hole in which to turn around. Okay. Go back upright, please. Thank you. Thank you. It's the scrapyard. Um, okay, so this uh, take control. Okay, and so we very gently. All right, we're gonna get off so we can actually see our landing gear. Presuming it's yes, it is still attached. All right. Um, excuse me. Oh, my. No, my broadcasting is on. Is yours not? Uh. Antenna. Enable broadcasting. Thank you. Uh. Remote access. Take control. Gently. Gently set down. Oh. Uh. Three. Um, excuse me, there is some ground there, uh, if you would be so kind as to, no? Okay. Alright, well, we'll just turn you off, we will set our, it's not what we wanted to do. Yeah, alright, so, where's our ground base? There it is. Uh, right. So, I'm gonna finish drilling this out, and I will bring you guys back as soon as I am close. I will see you in a and minute. This is my fifth attempt at recording this episode, so if you're wondering why it took me so freaking long to record it, well, there's your answer. Or why this episode is so late, I should say. Um, Alright, so basically we want to be in place so that as soon as this becomes functional, we can pr jump in, press that, uh, press that, and get out because they open fire the moment we um, get in, and then they destroy big chunks of the base. Uh, if I seem to be good at this, it's because I've done this a couple of times now. I'm finally remembering that I can press O to take everything out of my hand, just in case I die running down the tunnel. And I'm sprinting back. So I've had one moment where my raiding gunship fell out of the sky because I tried to turn off the headlights and turned off the batteries and went splat. I've had one attempt where I got into the raiding gunship realized that I had forgotten to turn the turrets on the rust rover back on, got out of the Gatling gun. All drones attack. Yes, 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 we get it, you're evil. Um, 
add one, one where I got out of, got back out. The turn went to turn the turrets on. The for whatever reason the antenna for the Rust Rover was refused to connect to my suit, and I was immediately shot. Was then shot in the back by the d drones. By the time that I s successfully respawned through the excruciatingly long, long timer, uh, well, everything was dead. So. It, including me immediately afterwards. Uh, no, you guys stop recharging. You give me control. Give me two. Give me one. Give me five. Give me my drilling head. Come on. Give me four. Give me the hell out of this tunnel. Sorry, the heck out of this tunnel. Uh, right, I've seen this tunnel entirely too much, too too often, and I'm starting to get a little frustrated. I don't mind dying, but all these attempts, this is attempt number five, by the way, if I hadn't mentioned that before, all these attempts culminated in getting halfway through the tunnel and then space engineers freaking crashing. And not a nice, not a, oh, your world is, something has gone wrong with your world. Nope, a flat out five alarm crash to desktop. So, yeah. It was actually to the point where I could see the end of the tunnel and it crashed. And if it does it again, I may scream. Uh, please don't, please don't, please don't, please, no. No smacking on the bottom of the tunnel. Don't hit the top, don't hit the bottom, don't hit any part of the tunnel, and stop lagging! Blasted game, anyway. Although I suspect that the crashing was related to just... I had reloaded more than once, because the backups I was finding were not the correct. It appears to be offline mode, that means I'm getting zero. Uh... The first day of January in the year one, year one, at exactly one, at exactly the first second of existence, or so the backups say is when they were cr all created. But that's my exit point. That's the end of the tunnel. It is quite liter that is quite literally the light at the end of the tunnel. Don't hit the top. Don't hit the top because you will crash and die. That would be horrible. And at this point in time, it would be a rage quit. Not it, and it would not be a nice one. And this computer's too expensive for me to rage, for me to be rage quitting. Stop lagging. Okay, and we're going to land gently. All right, I'm gonna press one. And we're going to see, can we reach the, we cannot. Alright, uh, no, let me out. Let's get up, 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 up. Alright, they're 800 meters away, which is fine. I am glad duck roll tweet. Now you watch, the moment I have a free chance to turn around it will turn out to have been dispatched from the base that we just attacked I can't tell doesn't appear to be I, I assume turning it off did that uh, Gatling turrets on um come on let me scroll thank you I don't move when it's on ah Yep, they appear to be idly moving. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, let me grab this. Let me grab... No, I want five. I want four. I want three. I want two. I want to lift off up into the air. Alright, we're not far enough off the ground that we can't see the those. Let's get over here. So we're less than a click. As soon as they come into into range, the rover should t should open fire. Oh, they're clustered together, and that's not a good sign. All right, we have our weapons selected. We're going to very gently um, here. We're going to very gently set ourselves down. Basically, we want to be sitting just off the deck. Press this. And as soon as they pop over that ridge, we're going to open up on them as well. 
we have eight guns and 3,500 rounds. Hopefully we can chop through, chop through them. All right, that one on the left appears to be the closest, oddly enough. And then there's a third one responding further back. Uh, convoy escort. Uh, metal grid shipment. Right. Let's if you press V, it should. Yeah, should. There we go. Relocked our. All right, they've adjusted the position so that they can come come up together. That's fine. That's fine. I've got pa I've got patience and I've got firepower. Ah, we will. We we almost exactly thirty six thousand kilograms. Uh, mostly that'll be the frontal heavy armor. Oh, what are you two doing? You're pursuing target. And you're pursuing target. I think they're trying to trying to get to the multi-purpose drone. That's okay. If that splits them up, that's fine by me. We should hear the, the guns of the on the rust rover open up momentarily. Uh, although he's circling around the other side, and that's not a good sign. Come on. Up oh, there we go. Rust rover's engaged. Where's that guy on the left going? Hopefully, if the Rust Rover can deal can Ru Rust Rover can deal with that by itself. That's fine. Ah! I died. And ah! Stupid, dr stupid drones. Anyway, okay. Yes, we get it. It's I died. There's no need to continue punishing me. Jeez, what is with games all of a sudden having infinitely long respawn timers? Um, and why can't I run now? Yes, continue to chew it up. Since now it's a disarmed, basically it can't do anything but. Uh, oh, stop lagging, stop lagging, stop lagging. I'm gonna die when I hit the ground. Nope, worse, I bounced, which is equally frustrating. Um, give me everything. Thank you. Uh, rating gunship is in terrible, terrible shape. Basically, it hit my... Oh, good. Well, it chewed through the right-hand side, and... Basically left me with no... Way to control this thing. Great. Uh... Huh. That's funny. It sliced up all the light armor, and... It sliced... Obliterated all the heavy armor, and sliced... And left the light armor intact. All right. Uh, all right. I need a remote control. Uh, wait a minute. Can I make a remote control? Uh, three. I have what I need. I do. Fantastic. Um. Uh, remote access. Uh, why is my rating gunship not having any? Okay, well, it's about to fall out of the sky. Um, hello? Why are you not broadcasting? No, no, no. I'm back here, you. Come over here, you. I got a grinder for you. Just grind you out of the sky. These pretty. These things are hip. <laughs> now they're shooting each other. That's funny. Um, come on. Um, Come on, there we got it. And oh, no, you're not. You're plummeting out of the sky, is what you're doing. That's you. Come on, get up there, get up there, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, 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 up. Suck my grinder. Eat grinder, fool.
I got grinder for days. And you are got more batteries than I thought you had. Come here. You destroyed my gunship. You don't get to survive. No survivors. Come here. You. That should be enough. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, no. Come back here. Drone disarmed and returning for repairs. Yeah, no, no joy, no joy. Alright. Knocked out the drones. That's good. We're gonna have to repair the raiding gunship, but I think I can do that. Um, let me get back into reach of the rust rover. Hey, 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 stop with the shooting at me, thank you. Oh, and you took out one of my solar panels, you jack wagons. Really? Really? Ugh, I, ha I hate the respawn timer. I really hate the respawn timer. No, respawn me. Control panel. Get turrets off. By now, they will ch have chewed up a huge amount of the actual stuff. It's they destroyed two of my solar panels. That makes me angry. Uh, no, give me everything. Yep, ripped out all my solar panels. <laughs> um, production. A couple of hundred solar panels, please. Thank you. Oh. Okay, lag. Stop it. Right. Uh, control panel assemblers on. Thank you. So how much stuff, if anything, was I able to salvage? I know we shot one down here and one down on the... Uh, well, managed to bring you down largely intact. Or a lot of you intact, anyway. Uh... Lost a bunch of internal... Ooh! Got some thrust... Saved some thrusters. I suspect part of that was the Gatling turrets continuing to shoot at it. Uh, you've had quite a few thrusters in you. And a large atmospheric thruster with almost all its motors. Excellent. What's up here? Uh, I think this was the first one that got shot down. I don't even want to look at the rust... At the, um... Uh, Raider and gunship just at the moment. Well, there's some more ship over there. Good thing I've got cleanup turned off. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is... Go into my GPS. Uh, delete the body location, because I got all that stuff. Alright, I'm going to go down and get the multipurpose drone, and we're going to get some grinding done. <sighs> and this was such a nice ship, too. All that's left is one freaking battery and a few thrusters. That's just completely wrong. <laughs> the antenna survived. The antenna and the remote control survived. <sighs> okay. They shot the crap out of my battery. Sorry. They shot shot my battery to pieces. I wonder if my antenna was just turned off or something. Ah. Uh, Right, so I'm going to clean up the battlefield, and I don't know that I will rebuild the raiding gunship. It, well, it turned out to be a piece of junk. Ow! Okay, I've had enough. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!